Yes, I, what say you, dog or computer? chopper any day of the week. <laughs> I have to say that. I rescued him five years ago. He's the best. Let's take a quick look at our air quality this morning. Heading into this afternoon, forecasted to stay in that moderate category as the fires to the north of us are still burning. And to add to that, we're still seeing that leftover smoke sweep its way into our local area. We're keeping a close eye on that system, but you know, this week there's been so many other things going on. I don't know, like a tropical storm moving its way into California. To add to that, high pressure building in today, sitting us well above average when it comes to our temperatures. So there's lots to break down. That's why I wanted to start off with our AQI. Just keep that in mind if you're sensitive like I am to it. Now, here's what we're looking at as we head into the rest of this week. High pressure is building in today. We're going to sit well above average today, but don't get too stressed because by this weekend, low pressure moves its way in from offshore, and that gets us right back down to average. But let's focus on today because it's going to feel different when you walk out the door. I mean, earlier this week, we had muggy conditions. Now it's going to feel a lot more dry into this afternoon and a lot sunnier as you take your eyes to the skies, even along our coastline where later this afternoon, that marine layer really dissipates. We're sitting about five Five degrees above average in our local spots throughout the Santa Clara Valley in the 90s today. We're even sitting in the 80s, excuse me, 70s this afternoon along our coastline. It'll be beautiful and warm no matter where you live, but it'll be a little bit hot the more east you go off in your areas like Antioch and Brentwood. 89 today for our friends near Richmond, 79 in San Francisco. That puts us about five degrees above average in San Francisco, 15 degrees above average just near Concord. I want to pick on some areas though off into the east. We are keeping a very close eye on that excessive heat risk map right now. There's no advisories issued by the National Weather Service, but it's worth noting today is the warmest day of the week. So be prepared, dress light, drink lots of water, wear sunscreen when you head outside. We are in that high category for us today, but look at this, by tomorrow and all the way into Friday, it slowly starts to smooth its way out. We'll get right back down to around average conditions as we head into this weekend's forecast. Still plenty of sunshine though, lasting into the rest of the month of August and early September. Here's what we're looking at as we head over into our temperature outlook. The next six to 10 days, we're still gonna be sitting above normal just barely as we head into the month of September. This is issued by the Climate Prediction Center. So watch how that pans out for areas like San Francisco. For now, we're sitting in the upper 70s. We'll hit the low 70s, flirting with the upper 60s by Friday, and then averaging out into next week with a very similar trend no matter where you live, with 90s stepping into the 80s, 80s stepping into the 70s for our friends up in the North Bay.